Hello there and welcome back to Adicraft. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to build this three level small Japanese style pagoda. So don't go anywhere and let's get on with the video. So let's go through the block palette. This is just the building blocks. There's a number of decorative blocks as well that we, you can use if you so wish um, from the build, uh, but we'll just get, go through these. So we've got the dark oak logs. We've got the dark oak planks, stairs and slabs. We've got stripped acacia logs uh, and stairs and slabs and trapdoors. Then we've got the jungle planks and stairs, jungle trapdoors, uh, jungle fence gates and fences, stripped birch, logs uh, then we've also got some andesite blocks and some walls for the andesite then we've got some dark oak trapdoors we've got the white terracotta um, but if you don't have white terracotta you can use white concrete or if you prefer bone blocks uh, then we've got the dark prismarine and the lanterns then uh, some item frames some ladders and last but not least we've got some iron bars so the first thing that we're going to do in the build is we're going to put the pillars in. So we're going to come up four, five, six blocks from each of the corners. Um, so then two, three, four, five, six. And then we're also going to come up, if you go in one block, leave a gap, up three blocks here. And then we're going to come up three blocks here. And we're going to repeat that all the way around for all of the four sides. Once that's been done, we're going to start by putting the cross beams in. So we're going to come across and we're going to place all the way around uh, these blocks just on top of the three block height uh, ones that we've done at the sides. So we've got the whole thing surrounded here. And then we're going to come up again once we've done that up and do the same at the top, leaving this gap in the wall that we're going to fill in later. So go around and we'll do this all the way around the build. Once all of those have been filled in, the next step is we're going to come to each of these corners. So leaving a one gap here and we're going to come up on this corner 14 blocks. So So 14 blocks there and we're going to do that for each of the sides and this will take us right to the highest point of this this build and give us the structure to build off. Now that that framework's in, we're going to go in and start filling in some of these gaps. So we're going to go up just beneath this level. So we're going to go up three blocks with the white terracotta all the way around in this gap, leaving the front as an entrance uh, for this. And then in each of these sides, we're going to fill all of these in and go right the way around. So the entirety of the inside has been filled up three blocks high with this white terracotta. Uh, once we've done that, we're going to come to the middle of the walls, and I'll just do this on one side, punch out that block and place a dark prismarine in the middle there. So we'll go and go around all of the sides, making sure to leave the gap for the front and fill these in. Next up, we're going to decorate the entranceway. So we're going to take these jungle trap doors and on the bottom of each of these blocks, we're going to be placing three on each side, uh, bottom, 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 and then we're going to be uh, closing those or opening those depending on how you're looking at it then inside that well outside that towards the entrance we're going to be putting three jungle fences on either side of the entranceway and now we've got an, a nice little trick for decorating we're going to be taking three item frames and in each of the item frames we're going to be putting a piece of dark prismarine and then we are going to be placing a jungle trapdoor and opening it in front of that and it gives a real nice splash of color but with some depth as well there and then we're just going to do exactly the same on the other side so three of these three prismarine and then three jungle trapdoors that are all going to be opened and coming around to the side um, we're going to, I'll just show you this quickly, repeat exactly the same with the embellishment at the side here with the jungle trapdoors. Keep them open. We're going to be placing one uh, jungle trapdoor in front of the prismarine here and then we're going to be using the fence gate, the fences rather, up the side. And the final one on this side just to show you an entire side 
um, then we're going to repeat this on the other two sides and then that is the basics done for oh, make sure I don't turn that the basics done for the bottom uh, with the exception of putting just some dark oak trapdoors on each of these corners so we'll now go and finish that for all four of the sides with all of those in we can start building up the next side of this um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be on each level coming in uh, one block so on the very corner of these blocks we're going to be building up three and we're going to be building up three all the way round and then I will just do this on one side we're going to be taking the white terracotta and just outlining it leaving this gap of three by two in there and what we're going to be doing then is placing three and then holding shift to do this placing three more on top of it and opening all of these up uh, in order to give ourselves the area that we want and lastly we're going to come up an extra one and come all the way across here like so and then that wall will be replaced on all of those sides with that box complete we're then going to be putting the fences around as a little um, balcony type area so we're going to be placing three and then so we've got five along each of these corners uh, one two one more two three four five and then in between those we're going to be placing three more of the fence gates that are just going to be closed um, as like this and then for each of these we will go up the full height uh, on the two sides but leaving those corner blocks the next level of this build we're going to be doing a very similar thing to the floor beneath but this time we're obviously going in another block so we're coming up and filling in whoop, one too many uh, a u-shape again with our trapdoor shift and then place our trapdoors there with the blocks across and i'll also show uh, the same the thing that we're doing this time on the sides is very similar so we're going with three rather than five this time because we've got we've got a shorter wall with our three fence gates in between and then again connecting just up to the uh, roof the ceiling part I think that's one too many in fact two blocks high here because that's where the roof's going to start on the final level and then filling this in all the way around so there we've got a nice consistent pattern but moving in each time with the, sh the main shell of the building complete, we're going to start working on the uh, the roofs. So to do this, we come to the corner and level with this hole, we're going to be placing some upside down acacia stairs. And then we're going to be placing a trap door on each of those. We're then going to be coming on the same line, holding shift and doing a line of trap doors level with the bottom of this for finishing this off again with a stair, a stair and a trap door on each side. Moving up to the next level, we've I've taken out some of these fences because I had gone one level too high. Um, we're going to be placing the stair and the stair with a slab on the corner. Then coming out and down here, we're going to be placing a trap door, making sure we shift click along, trap doors level with the top of that block and then finish off here with the two stairs and a slab and then the final level for the roof we're going to be doing exactly the same but on a much smaller scale so we've got the two stairs we've got the slab in between and then coming down just a little bit here we're going to be placing the trapdoor level with that at uh, the top of that block finish it off with the stairs and then fill that in all the way around. With all of the acacia now in then we are going to start working level by level on each of these roofs. So the first thing to do is to come in and put up with the slabs, top slabs, 
on this bottom level so they're not touching we're going to make a cross on one side then we're going to make a cross on the other side as well again that turned into a full block finish that then we're going to take our stairs and we're going to place our stairs right the way running across in between these two now the next thing that we're going to do is come down here and we can start with a shift click and then just run it across next to it we're going to be placing some slabs again top slabs with a top slab shift clicked onto that block and onto that block here and now this is where it gets a little bit trickier you just come across place a, a temporary block on top for that corner piece same temporary block and place your corner piece here and there you've got the nice swooping uh, roof and we will continue to fill that in for the other sides for the next level up it's similar but a little bit different of what we're going to do here so on top of these corner blocks again we're going to come out and we're going to be placing this cross this time we will go out and when we come up we will need to break that block because our temporary uh, temporary slab will make it a full block so same on the other side just come out here place that break it and put another one in so we've got that area here rather than placing all the way across though the first one of these stairs that we place on each side is going to be an upside down stair then we're going to go to right way upstairs all the way across and next we're going to step down with these slabs and keep these level with the actual build until we come up again with these slabs so again you get the same swoop but we've just done it slightly higher in a slightly different way so we will then carry that on all the way around the build for the top roof again it is slightly different so i'm going to be doing it in two phases first of all the edges and then up to the peak so for the edges we are going to be going here and rather than the cross we're still going to be making the cross but we're going to be making the cross with three stairs here and then the slabs coming out again we're going to come out to the edge here once we've done that to create the little flick and we'll do the same on the other side so stairs all the way around the corner and then just the two slabs here with the one coming across break that one and put it back now it is similar so we've got the upside down stairs at the two sides and the right way upstairs in the middle and we just step these slabs down and across and back up so we've got that lovely swoop but this time we've got the little raised cap bits on the corners themselves so we'll go and i will now fill this in for the rest of the this section of the roof now to finish off the roof we are going to be placing a block and then a block in each of the corners leaving one gap and then in that gap we're going to be placing a stair block it's just a regular right way up stair block and then from that we're going to be coming up and you can you can just use that as a temporary block if you wish all the way around and filling this right the way in with an entire layer of just full planks and then we're going to come all the way around with some of the stair blocks again and next we're going to take our andesite and we're going to go up two blocks here then we're going to take an andesite wall go up a block andesite block wall and then two iron bars to cap it all off and that now gives us our finished pagoda shape before looking at the interior i'm going to decorate the exterior uh, using some banners and some lanterns so first of all um, it's worth noting all of these banners are either designs shown or variations on designs sort of mix and match from my banners tutorial video the 10 essential japanese banners that you need in your minecraft world so first of all we've got the red banner here then we're going to take these gold swatch banners 
on the next level. In here we're going to be placing some banners in behind these fences and then going up and doing the same on the top level. And then with torches we're going to come place a torch on each of these corner bits that we'd left empty. The reason for that was for these torches, um, torches, lanterns rather. There. And then the only difference being at the side we're going to be placing a lantern under here. So again at the side we are going to just be not having the red ones to go through the doors but we are going to be having these. I'll just finish off this side as well. Um, just matching the banners. You can mix these up. If you didn't want any designs on them you could just use coloured banners. It, uh, it would still add that little bit of um, colour and excitement to the end of the edge of the build um, and the outside of the build. So go around with the banners and fill those in. So for the first level of the interior it's going to be something quite simple and we're going to be using uh, one of the tips in my 15 Japanese build tips and tricks and build hacks video uh, which is we're going to come to the back here we're going to knock two down on that center block and then we're going to place a, uh, a campfire. Next we're going to put a sea lantern but you could use a glowstone or anything else that you wished to use on here. And next we're going to surround that on all sides by trapdoors and close those. Next we're going to be placing an item frame on here with a chorus fruit inside and then we're going to put a coral fan and what this makes is a lovely little incense burner that you can actually see the smoke comes out of eventually um, on each of the sides. Now on the other sides we're going to be placing making sure that these are the top of the lowest block. We're going to be placing two of these acacia trapdoors. On these acacia trapdoors, we are going to be placing, oh, let me just shift click, a lantern on either one of these. And that will give us um, enough light uh, to actually see everything around in here and keep it all mob proof. And then either side of this little uh, this little altar this little incense burner we've got the two banners now the next thing we're going to need is we're going to need ourselves a plant pot and any plant of your choice but the most japanese one that i find is the the blue orchid and then on both of these sides we're gonna click place the plant pot and the orchid there making sure that you click on the block at the back for the wall and that gives you basically all the decoration that we're going to have in here. Now there are going to be multiple floors and we're going to need to go up to the different floors so we're going to take a ladder next and we're going to run our ladders right the way up here as far as this level. Um, the reason that we're going as far as that level is because we're going to start coming up and we're going to start placing any orientation you like but let's go for uh, this orientation actually um, at the top of the block so again these will form a basis for things we're going to be placing trapdoors right the way and that's the wrong side there we go right side of the line right the way across leaving this one by the ladders of course so that you can actually use the ladders but on the other side of the build all the way over, fill that in with these trapdoors as the basis there and then coming up here we can fit one more ladder in here because on this side we're actually going to be placing the trapdoor on the bottom of this block so that it opens upwards um, and that's going to give us, it doesn't quite match but it's close enough, it means that we can use the ladder and then get to the next floor itself as well. Upstairs here on the second floor we're going to start actually uh, placing some more things. So what, first of all what we're going to do is we're going to choose a place for a bed and we're going to go opposite here and we're going to place the, the bed down there. Then we're going to be placing, uh, we can use a full block there but I've just chosen to use some half slabs. Some half slabs on top of these but not all of them so it's worth just noting that there's a few that we're going to leave so that we can fill them in but we do want to surround the bed itself with some of these blocks and then the last one here. 
So we're going to fill those up with some of the useful things like the chests. On each of these pillars, we are going to be placing some banners again. Whatever design you choose, these are just some variations from uh, my previous video. And then using these half slabs, we're going to be placing them on the underside of these walls, um, like so, and then filling it in in another circle, but leaving the one middle block because that is how we're going to be getting up. So you've got your ladder coming up here. You've got your ladder that's going to be going there. In order for that ladder to work, we need that to be a full block. And we also need the one behind it to be a full block. And we're also going to block in the ones in these these areas because we are going to use these as our lighting for the actual upstairs portion here. Uh, and then we've got a lovely trick, uh, which is just if you come around the right direction and place your first trapdoor, and I'm using Acacia, but you can choose which trapdoors you like. Um, place three of those trapdoors using shift clicks and then open them up here. You can then, using shift again, make sure you use shift uh, and you don't need that top one. Place three ladders here uh, and that means that you should be able to then access the floor above. The one thing you need to be careful of is not to close these because as soon as you do it breaks the ladder. Um, so make sure that you again, put it the right way around. Shift click this onto here and then we're just going to fill up these spaces with some useful items so I don't want those to connect. So I'm going to have those there. Let's pop a furnace, I think, here. Um, you can still access it even though you can still only see the top half. Let's put a crafting bench because everybody needs one of those. And then let's go down here and some of the useful things that you might need. Let's say you would want an anvil and you would want a smoker to cook your food. And of course, everybody wants a stone cutter. So we'll move that there and then just place these however you want them to, uh, to go. And then the anvil here. And you've finished this level. We'll just go up and do the final level because again, this is very, very simple. We're just gonna be taking a couple of chests and we're gonna be taking an ender chest here. Um, and lastly, we want a spruce trapdoor. So the spruce trapdoor we can put here so that you can get up and down and close it when you're inside. We're also gonna be placing some spruce trapdoors here around the build. Now we're going to be taking the spruce planks and just filling in this void. These are the bottom planks. You could use full blocks if you wanted here. It makes no difference just to give us something because uh, I've lost them now uh, to put the lanterns on. So we'll put the lanterns on here um, and this time these lanterns are going to go in the corners next to those trapdoors. So again, it gives us full lighting here. Here we're just going to have some storage, so we're going to be placing a chest there, a chest here, a chest here, and an ender chest. And that now is your completely finished build. So you can come up here, you can look out the windows at the views all around you in your lovely, beautifully built pagoda. You can clamber down this ladder into your living area, where here we're going to place again, just to finish off. Flower pot, a flower pot with a nice little orchid in it, just to add a bit of colour up here. Um, lovely little compact sleeping area up here. Mob safe because you can completely close this down. And then down here, your exit is a lovely Japanese style uh, incense burning little shrine area. So popping on the vanilla textures, uh, you can see that just from the inside, it all looks fantastic. We'll just come down this ladder uh, into the little sleeping area again. 
textures look gorgeous in here with the acacia the acacia is not quite as orange in the vanilla and coming down here to the little um, incense burner altar with the occasional smoke wisp that just comes out and looks really good I've changed these pots for some bamboo just to look a bit more oriental and then if we look at the actual build itself that white terracotta just with the slight pinkness goes really really well with the acacia and then you've got some contrast coming through from the dark oak and then the jungle as well just to give it a little bit of a uh, little bit more tone to it um, and yeah I think that it looks really really good how, how it comes out with the underside of these uh, trapdoors just covering up some of the dark oak and giving it a, a ring of the acacia around there so now we're gonna have a quick look at it with the shaders on as the sun's rays pass through the different areas of the roof I think you'll agree that it does look fantastic this build I'm using Silda's vibrant shaders here um, and yeah they do make everything look brilliant um, thank you very much for watching the video if you don't already subscribe then please do hit that subscribe button make sure you ding dong that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos uh, and all that's left to be said from that point of view is thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on 80craft.